Here I'm looking at the 2011 extension to HSC question 4 part C. Let's read the question. A mass is attached to a spring and moves in a resistive medium. The motion of the mass satisfies the differential equation given, where y is the displacement of the mass at time t. Part 1 show that if y equals ft and y equals gt are both solutions to the differential equation and a and b are constants, then y equals aft plus bgt is also a solution. Now, there is a few things that makes the question hard, but the reality or seem hard and tricky, but the reality is the solution is quite straightforward. First of all, uh, where it says it's attached to a spring and moves in a resistive medium. Now, that gives the impression that we're looking at mechanics. S straight away, when I see spring, I think uh, maybe simple harmonic and then resistive medium, uh, I think mechanics. And then it says the motion of the mass satisfies this differential equation. And I've got second derivative, first derivative and the function all in one equation and it all seems too hard but if we accept the question for what it is and keep reading and just use our logic then the solution should fall out so it says y is the displacement and time is t now they've told us y equals f uh, t and y equals gt are both solutions and then I need to show that a combination of those two is also a solution. Well, to make sense of things, I'm going to start by substituting these two functions in there because I know these two functions, as in ft and gt, satisfy the equation. So that's going to be my starting point. y double dot plus 3y dot plus 2y equals 0. Then y equals f of t is a solution which means f double dash t plus 3 f dash t plus 2 f t equals 0 and similarly y equals g t is a solution so that's g double dash t plus 3 g dash t plus 2 gt is a solution so they're definite that's what the question is given now i'm going to look at the new function that's in the question and i'm going to try to show that that is also a solution so now the question says y equals a ft plus bgt okay so y dot is a f dash t plus b g dash t and y double dot is a f double dash t plus b double dash g double dash t so i am now going to substitute these into the left hand side of my equation and see if it satisfies and we end up with zero um, left hand side substitute y double uh, y double dot so that would be a f double dash t plus b and i'm just going to continue substituting in Okay, so that's what I have on the left hand side. Now I'm going to collect the functions together. So they're all the f's together and all the g's together. So I end up with an a 
at side of f double dash t plus 3 f dash t plus 2 f t plus b at side of g double dash t plus 3 g dash t plus 2 g t now from what the solutions what the questions given i know that f t is a solution and g t is a solution so what's in the bracket there is equal to zero for f and for g which means the whole thing is equal to the right hand side so if you have a look at this question really the solution involves extension one maybe and two unit work uh, but the know-how of how to go about doing it and being able to um, decipher the question and come to the conclusion of a solution is an extension to idea but the method of doing it then is not actually an extension to method so let's see if part two is a similar situation where it's a little bit easier than at first it seems Part 2 says a solution of a differential equation is given by y equals e to the kt for some value of k where k is constant. So this y equals e to the kt is a solution. Show that the only possible values for k are k equals negative 1 and negative 2. Okay. So how many different ways can I do this? Really, um, I'm going to substitute that equation in that's really at the with the information that's given is my only option and i'm going to hope that it all works out so let's start by first finding out what y dash and y double dash are so y is e to the k t which gives me y dot that's k e to the k t which then similarly results in k squared e to the kt. Now I'm going to substitute into the equation. So knowing that this is a solution, I don't have to do left hand side. I'm going to end up with y double dot, so that's k squared e to the kt. Um, plus 3k e to the kt plus 2 e to the kt equals 0. Take a factor of e to the kt and I'm left with k squared plus 3k plus 2 equals 0. Now, for this to equal to 0, e to the k, either e to the kt or k squared plus 3k plus 2 must equal to 0. e to the kt is not never equal to 0, it's actually always positive. Therefore, k squared plus 3k plus 2 must equal to 0, which factorizes to k plus 2, k plus 1 equals 0 which gives me k values of negative 1 or negative 2 sorry about the setting gap trying to squeeze it all in okay so again um, it's a matter of differentiation substitution factorizing and getting the solution to a quadratic part 3 worth 3 marks a solution of the differential equation is so they've told me that I, this is a solution now it sort of makes sense if my k is negative 1 that's here k negative 2 that's here and we showed that a e uh, a f t plus b g t is a solution so we're drawing on previous solutions here so we've got a solution and then they've given us this condition when t equals zero it is given that y equals zero and divide t equals one then it says find the values of a and b 
Okay, so let me have a look. What are they asking? They're asking me to find the value of two unknowns. If I want the value of two unknowns, I need two equations. They've given me two values that I can substitute for t equals zero. So that seems to be the place to start with. And um, hopefully that again, will the solution will fall out with that much effort. So I have y equals a e to the negative 2t plus b e to the negative t. Now the question says when t equals 0, y equals 0. So I'm going to substitute that in. 0 equals, if t is 0, e becomes 1. So that's a plus B. Now y dash or y dot divide dt differentiating that gives me negative 2a e to the negative 2t minus b e to the negative t and it says when t equals 0 y dot is equal to 1 so I'm going to substitute that in and I get 1 equals negative 2a minus b. Well, let's substitute in. So we have a is equal to negative b. Substituting for a, I get 1 equals 2b minus b, which equals b. Therefore, that gives me b equals 1, a equals negative 1. So a simple differentiation, substitution, solving simultaneously. A really good, straightforward four unit question.